Hi guys, good morning. This is Amy from 180 Days of Reading. I told you that I would share this week a little bit about how I plan my intervention groups. I'm an interventionist at my school. I work with students K to 6 and I'm just going to share um, four of my groups today, what I'm doing at the beginning of the week with them. So I have here, I have group A, group B, group C, and then I'm going to share over here this group G. Um, this is the planning sheet that I shared on my Instagram earlier this week and I will put it up in my store for you to have for free um, later today. So we'll start here with group A and I up here usually write my students names but just for this video I'm just going to put group A. I have the time that I'm going to meet with them. I get most of my students for a half an hour a day. My groups range from I have one one-on-one -on -one group. Most of my groups are about three and I do have a group of seven. So it just kind of is whatever is going to work with that group. So this group on Monday, I'm going to review all the short vowels with them. And the way that I'm going to do that is I use my planning sheet that I've shared before with this. So what we do Monday morning, we're going to warm up. We're going to do an alphabet activity or we're going to do some phonemic awareness activities. Sometimes I do both with the group or sometimes I'll do one or the other. It kind of depends on the need of the group. I shared earlier my phonemic awareness sheet. You see it got all wrinkled in my bag, but that's what I've been using lately for my phonemic awareness. So what we'll do is we'll do that. We'll read sounds, that's sound flashcards. We'll do the blending drill, that's where I'll sit, lay out those sound flashcards. And we will touch and say the sounds and blend the word. I can share more of that if there's questions. Then we read words, um, Iran, or cards. I've been using cards, that's the way that I've been able to keep it organized. So what I'll have is a stack of cards and I'll have all of the short vowels mixed in a stack of cards and I'll flash the cards for the students and they'll read them um, for our kind of review. We want to review the last five sounds that we've worked on. Next is the spell sounds piece and that's where I will ask the students to spell these sounds. I'll say Write me the letter that makes the sound a, ah, and the students will say a, ah, a, and then they will write a. They like this group likes to use whiteboards, so we'll probably use whiteboards for this piece. Um, then we will spell words, and we will practice spelling these words. And you see, I have it organized. I've put the last five skills that we worked on, and we'll go down this list and then down this list spelling the words and it will get them practice spelling words with the last five um, skills that we've worked on. Then we will practice writing these two sentences also with the last five skills. Then you can see, so that would be Monday. Then you can see on Tuesday I have the new skill that this group is going to work on and that was is going to be SH. So on Tuesday, they will come in and I will introduce the new skill. I have a whole routine of doing this. We give, I give them some guided discovery where I give them some words. I would say, listen to the words shot, ship, cash, lash. What sound do you hear in all of those words? And they would say, shh. I would write the words. They need to pick out what letters are making that sound. And we'd say SH, we trace it. We have a kind of a whole routine, I guess I should probably share. Um, but after we do that routine and we introduce it, then I give them lots of time to practice with that new skill. And I do that, I have these RAN sheets that I've made, and these ones are just practicing the same skill. They don't practice the past skills, it's just the new skill that we're working on. So we'll take turns reading, and this works really good. I wrote these for um, my groups of three, because then I can have one student read the top one, one read this one, one read this one, and then they take turns. So they each get um, five words and two sentences. Then I give them time to go back and practice reading all of it. You can probably hear my kids uh, yelling up there. They're playing video games. Um, so then I usually have them do a book next. I've had lots of questions lately about what books I use. These books are the Spire books. I really like these books. On the back, you can see um, it tells you what skill the book is, and they come in two different levels, 1A 
and 1B. 1A is a little bit easier, 1B is a little bit trickier. If you're just going to get one set, I would recommend the A books. I found all of my kids can read the A books. B is kind of tricky for some of my students. So if you're looking for some books, I really like these. So I have them read the book first. So we'll read the ran sheet, then we'll read a book. Sorry about the glare. And then we're going to, we will do a game. I have two sets of, two games that I would maybe play with them. I have a board game, and then I have a card game. The card game, let's see if I can get this off. I lay it in the middle of the table and they take turns um, picking a card. Oops, there's a go again first. So they would, oh, there we go. So they would read the word, shell, and keep it, and then the next student would go give a card to a friend, so they would have to give a card to a friend. Um, my students absolutely love these games. And look at all of the word cards in here. They get so much more reading in. Sometimes this is a struggle to get them to read. They don't like reading, you know, something that looks like this. But this is essentially the same thing, but in a game form, and they absolutely love this. They will beg me to play more um, games and it, all I want them to do is read more so it doesn't matter if it looks like this or it looks like that they're still reading so I'm happy so there's my my first group group A um, group B is going to look very similar I run the same type of system the same type of routine in all of my groups so group B we finished up all of the silent E words so we're moving on to multi-syllabic silent E words. So Monday, I would do the same thing as I did in the first group. We do the warm up, read sounds, blending drill. I have a card pack for each of my groups that has the words that they've been working on and the sounds that they have been working on. We're going to spell sounds. You can see their sounds are a little bit trickier. Those are the skills we've been working on. Spell words and spell sentences. Their new skill is the multisyllabic words, which I'm really excited I'm getting more into this year with my groups. Um, so here are their words. I don't know if I said on the last one. After I introduce it, they practice reading it, and then we spell words before we get to the book and the game. I might not have said that on the last one. Um, so I would introduce the new skill, then we would do some reading of it, and for this one I pulled out this fluency sheet to practice reading the words. Um, then we would spell words with that new skill. Then we would read a book, and I love it when I have a group that can read these books this week since it's Valentine's Day week. These are perfect Valentine's books. And they, um, they are not multisyllabic practice. It is so difficult for me to find books that have multisyllable words that my kids can read. Um, but it is, it's those Spire books again, and it is going to at least practice vowel consonant silent E. Then after the books, we're going to do a game. And I have some games out, same as the other ones. And then for this skill, I also have this group absolutely loves to watercolor. So we might do this. This is a watercolor sheet um, or a roll and read. This is my bigger group, so I sometimes will break them up into um, groups of two or three so that they can do an activity together. Um, so I just have some options here that I can maybe do with this group. And so that is my second group. My third group, group C. You can see what they're working on. There's their review skills. There's their new skill. So over here I have their everything planned out for Monday. There's their reviews. Then their new skill is AY. There's their words we're going to read after we introduce it. They have the same setup, a RAN sheet. They have their words. In this group I have a couple other books I can show you. Um, I used to teach with the Sunday program before I was Orton Gillingham trained. I really did like the Sunday program before I was trained. Um, now I like writing my own lessons, um, but this is a great place to start. Um, so I'm gonna, I pulled this book for my kids to read, see if the skill is AY. Um, this is another Spire book. 
same thing, AY. And then these books are my absolute favorites and the kids, Fay and Kay by the Bay, they're from the Wright Group, McGraw Hill. The Wright Skills, it says. Um, so I have some books for them to read and then same thing, some games. My kids all know that we kind of end um, each lesson with a game. On the review day, on the Monday, if we finish up all of our review stuff, because this is, I mean, we have to be moving to get all of this done, especially on a Monday, when it falls on a Monday. Um, so we'll play a game that we've already played to review, or I have some that I, like, mix the cards in the, so they can review a lot of the skills that they've already, that they already know. So sometimes we do a game even on the review day. Kids just like games. Games are huge, huge motivators for them. Let me move back over here. We're on to my last group that I'm going to show you today. And they are reviewing all of the short vowels, but also with blends and digraphs. And then they're ready to move on to multi-syllable words also. So over here, same type of thing. You can see once you get the routine set up, it makes it very easy for planning. Um, I use my uh, sheets to come up with words. That helps me come up with my words um, every week. But So here's this group's sheet. Then I have some brand sheets for them to practice. And then I have some games and a book, also another um, write skills book. But again, not the multi-syllable words. This one's gonna be all just CVC and uh, blends. I have a real hard time finding books with any multi-syllable words that my kids can read because they usually have more skills that are just a little bit too difficult for them. So there's part of my week. That's what I do. I set up, I start with my planning sheet and I come up with um, the review skills which I know because that's what I've been teaching them, and then the new skill that we move on to. So I wrote, write those in there first, and then I start making this sheet and pulling materials and books for the rest of it. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to do another video and talk more about um, this piece if you want. Um, or anything that you would like to talk more about, I'd be happy to share about. Um, the rest of this week got kind of crazy. Um, Wednesday we have data meetings all day. Thursday we have Valentine parties. So Friday I'm probably just going to do some sight word, red word, um, review with them, and do some of the games. Make them read a book when they come in, do some red word review and some games probably on Friday because this week is kind of crazy after this. But that's how I'm, I start my week. Um, some weeks I can do, I usually do three days of this same paper. So then on the third day, we would uh, read another book and kind of review the new skill. I found that one extra day really makes a big difference than trying to just do a lesson in two days. So then on Thursday, on a normal week, I would start them on a new skill or another, or I guess it would be a review day. Friday would be a new skill and it would kind of just cycle through. So let me know if you have any questions. You can leave them on my Instagram. You can send me a DM. Um, I hope this helps somebody.